Hello and thanks for watching this series of videos on Acumatica 2020 R1. So in this video we're going to talk about Item Matrix, a brand new feature that allows you to configure items using different attributes. So let's take a look. So in many scenarios, in many industries, for products like shoes or shirts, where you're going to have varying sizes or colors or widths or even styles, it's very difficult to manage all these item SKUs, and it's also even more difficult to make it easy for salespeople or purchasing managers to order these items. So now we have Item Matrix to help facilitate this. So we're going to start by setting an item up, and as soon as we do that, we'll create all of the different variety of items, and then we'll buy it and sell it. So let's get started. The first thing we do is under inventory, there's now a new option called template items. Now you'll need to enable this feature. You'll also need to make sure that your license supports this feature. So before we get to this, let's go to enable features. And if we do a search, there's a new option under advanced inventory called matrix items. The next thing we do is we create our template. So under inventory, under template items, we'll create a new one and we'll use an example of shoes. So just like any item, we set up the item class. So we'll just pick consumer here to pre-fill in many of the settings that we need. We can give it a static price of $99, for example. And then we go over to attribute configuration. So for this particular item class, take a look. Now in this case, we'll choose a different item class. And we'll add our attributes. Now the difference here is whereas normally these are category attribute, we have this new variant category. This allows this attribute or these attributes to be available to configure for matrix items. So if we go back to our template item and we'll choose our fitness wellness. And now we go back to attribute configuration. You can see our different attributes. We'll give our default column the different sizes and our default row will be the different widths. Now the next thing we need to do before we can create these items, so we have this template, it's for shoes. The shoes will be described as different colors, sizes, and widths potentially. But we need to be able to define what the inventory ID and the description is going to be. Of course the inventory ID can't be duplicate, so we need a variation. So the first thing we do is we start to add these different segments. So we'll add a segment for for example, the template ID, that would be shoes. So that's the first part of the ID. That'll be five characters separated by a dash. And then we'll choose as the next segment of this particular item ID, we'll choose the attribute value. So the first part of the attribute value will be the size. So that'll be two characters separated also by a dash. And then we'll select another value, and that'll be the width. And then we could select the color. And we'll just use three letters for that. Now the next thing we need to do is to have a description that describes these items accordingly based on the fact that they're shoes, color, size, and width. So again, we'll start off with the template description, which is written out, it's the same thing, shoes. And then instead of using the attribute value, we'll use the caption. And then here for separator, what we could do to get creative is put a space in it and maybe put S colon to preface the idea that we're going to have size. 
And then for the width, we'll do the same thing. We'll give it a space. And we'll define it as width. and then we'll save it. So now we have our template item with all these different variations. And if we open up another window, we'll look for matrix, create matrix items. We'll select our shoes. So now what you see is a possible grid of all the different selection items. This gives you the flexibility to create the items that are only available. Some combinations may not be available and you wouldn't select them. So the first thing you do is you select your color. So for example, in black, we can now select size double E in size eight. And you have the ability to select an entire column if you want. So for all the size eights are available in every width size, you can do that in under black. Or you can select a row. So if the width C is available across all different sizes. But you can check off the ones that make sense. And when everything's ready, you can hit Create. Now what Acumatica does is it gives you a selection of all the items it's planning to create. And you could scroll through here and see the different widths and sizes. And if you made any mistakes, you can uncheck them. And one of the things you'll notice here is when we created our template, we used not enough characters for one of the segments. Therefore, we ended up with duplicate IDs. So for example, for our shoes, we have a 10, shoes 10E here for double E because the inventory ID is not long enough. So if we were to go back and make this inventory ID longer, we can go into segment keys, open up inventory items, and instead of having a length of 10, we'll increase this to 15. Now, keep in mind that once you do this, you can't go back, so make sure that this is what you want. We could have reconfigured the template to maybe include less characters. So again, if we go back, we're using this number of characters for the template ID for the attribute value, size, width, and color. So two, two, and three, and this is five, this all adds up to be more characters than we can handle in the inventory segment length. But you could have changed this template ID to maybe be a little bit smaller and we could have squeezed it in. But I'm gonna make this 15 and I'm gonna hit the save button. I'll go back to create matrix items and now I'll hit create matrix. And now this problem goes away because we're able to indicate the unique attributes. So now we have a unique item code. So we'll hit confirmation on this. And now we have all our items created. Now, if we go back to the template items, and we take a look and we refresh, if we go over to matrix items, you'll notice Acumatica maintains all the different items that are here and that have been created. And what you could do here is you could select certain items and maybe delete them if they're no longer eligible to be sold. Now, at the time of creating this video, this particular screen and the previous screen to create matrix items doesn't allow you to edit different variables such as the default price and that kind of thing. And being able to go through this and change it in a grid view or before it was created, I don't see that menu option yet. Now, it could be that Acumatica will release this in the future, or it could be you need a more advanced version of item matrix in order to use this but we'll find out once the full version of Acumatic is released, there may be some additional functionality. So now that we created this, let's go over and create a purchase order. So you can get an idea what it looks like. So we'll pick a vendor. And we could do one of two things here. If we know the item code, we can simply pick it. Because now we have all these different items and you could 
select or type in what you're looking for. The other thing we could do now is hit add matrix item, pick the template, and now you have a configuration screen which gives you the ability to see all the different types of items that are available. Now this is blank right now because we selected a third attribute these additional attributes will show up here and because we have a third attribute we need to select at least a color so we can see what's available. Now if we select for example blue you're going to also see this is blank because we didn't create any blue items if you recall before. Let's go back to black and now in creating this purchase order we can select the quantities that we're looking for and use this grid to do so. So I need five of double E's in size 11 and I need three of size 8's in, in width D. So you can see the total quantities that you're getting of this different attribute and you can see the total quantities of this size from the top as well. Now if I hit add and close Acumatica will add all of these different items. And you can come in here and edit this as a normal purchase order. The last cost would be drawn in to these particular items. Now if you're thinking about inventory replenishment, we have a video on inventory replenishment on how that works. These items would work the same way. They would pull in their default settings from the item class your inventory replenishment settings, if there was any minimums or demand that's required for any one of these items, then Acumatica will put these into the inventory replenishment screens and create purchase orders for them individually. In this case, we're creating the purchase order ourselves. So we could take this off hold. I have approvals turned on, so I'll approve this myself. We'll receive it. and release it. Now the same thing applies to sales orders. I create a sales order, pick a customer, and again add matrix item. We'll select our shoes and we'll select a color. Again you get the ability to decide on each quantity based on the attribute values at the row and the column headers. Now the other thing you could do here is instead display the availability details. If I check this, you'll see the availability down below as I'm selecting that particular item. And we didn't receive all of them into stock, but you can see each individual one and what its stock levels are. So if we need to order, we can again put the quantities in that the customer is looking for. This of course works on the sales quote screen as well. And now we have an order with these items listed. So additionally, there's also certain forms that are specific to item matrix. Now they don't hang off this menu, but if we search for the matrix form, so for example, sales order, invoice, or the purchase order form, we open it up, we could select our order type manually and our order number and run it. And now you get a much nicer sales order form that shows you the different variances, the sizes, and what the customer's ordering and the different prices. So this is an option. This report may become a little bit more refined by the time Acumatica 2020 R1 gets released. So that's it. If you have any additional questions about item matrix and the upcoming Acumatica 2020 R1 version, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much and have a great day.